I was consulting two of my clients yesterday, two men that are married and have this beautiful little one-year-old. And they brought the one-year-old into the session. And they were just like, oh, it's the most fun game. He keeps dropping things. It's just the most fun game. He drops it, and then we pick it up, and he drops it again, or he finds something else to drop. And you know, before you know it, 50 things are on the floor. I say, isn't that interesting? I said, well, wait a minute. He's learning gravity. How much fun is that? He said, yeah, but it's just the way he just likes to drop things. I said, well, let me ask you a question. What if you were him? Only you had something in your hand. And every time you had it in your hand, it flew up. We like, excuse me, tree, can you hand that back down so that I can, there it goes again. How many things would you put in your hand to watch fly up? I, this is a question. How many things would you put in your hand to watch fly up? Everything! <laughs> Go up! It went, did you see that? It went up! That's what this one-year-old is doing, only we get down is down, and therefore it's boring because we already got it. But down is something we've agreed to agree upon. It's not true. And to a one-year-old, it's flying up. And when you can hear the substitution of the distinction that's actually occurring through the being, you take the light, the delight, the delight in the light. You observe what he's observing. You're in the transcension he's transcending. That one-year-old is growing you. Instead of you have to pick something else up off the floor.